A stealth fighter jet is a very expensive and advanced aircraft that can evade enemy radars and perform various missions. According to some sources, the cost of a stealth fighter jet can range from $78 million to over $200 million, depending on the model and the features. To afford a stealth fighter jet, you would need a lot of money and a valid reason to own one. The F-22 Raptor is the world's first and only fifth-generation fighter, and it just got even better. The Raptor has undergone a massive upgrade that cost $11 billion, making it the first sixth-generation fighter in history. The upgrade has enhanced the Raptor's stealth, performance, sensors, weapons, and communications, giving it an unparalleled edge over any adversary. But what does this upgrade entail? What are the new features and capabilities that make the Raptor a monster in the sky? I think that's a good thing that we don't have to fight other people sometimes. And why did the Air Force decide to invest so much money and time in this project? In this video, we're going to answer these questions and more as we explore the details of the F-22's monster $11 billion upgrade. The F-22 was first built in 1997 and entered service in 2005. It's designed to be a stealthy, agile, and lethal air superiority fighter that could penetrate enemy airspace and destroy any target with its advanced weapons. The F-22 was also equipped with an integrated avionics system that combined sensor fusion, data from the radar, and other external sensors to enhance pilot situational awareness. The F-22 was a revolutionary jet that outperformed any other fighter jet in the world but it was not without its flaws. It was expensive, complex, and difficult to maintain. It also faced competition from newer fighters like the F-35 Lightning II, which offered more versatility and interoperability with allies. The F-22's production was capped at 187 units in 2011, leaving many experts wondering if it would become obsolete in the face of emerging threats. That's why the Air Force launched the Advanced Raptor Enhancement and Sustainment ARS program in 2016, aiming to develop a family of systems that would ensure air superiority in the 21st century. The ARS program was shrouded in secrecy, but it was rumored to involve a new fighter jet that would surpass the capabilities of the F-22 and the F-35. In September 2020, the Air Force revealed that it had secretly flown a prototype of this new fighter jet, sparking a wave of speculation and excitement among aviation enthusiasts. But what many people didn't know was that the ARIS program also included a massive upgrade for the existing F-22 fleet. The upgrade, known as Raptor 2.0 or Increment 3, 2B, aimed to enhance the Raptor's stealth, performance, sensors, weapons, and communications. The upgrade was completed in 2022 and gave the F-22 a new lease on life as a sixth-generation fighter. One of the most noticeable changes to the upgraded F-22 was its new coating. The coating was made of nanomaterials that reduced the Raptor's radar cross-section by 50%, making it virtually invisible to enemy radars. The coating also had self-healing properties that could repair minor damage and prevent corrosion. The coating also changed color depending on the environment, allowing the Raptor to blend in with the sky or the ground. Another major improvement in the upgraded F-22 was its sensor suite. The sensor suite consisted of an active electronically scanned array, ESA radar, an infrared search and track, IRS system, an electro-optical targeting system, EOTS, and a distributed aperture system, DAS. These sensors gave the Raptor 360-degree situational awareness and enabled it to detect and track targets at long ranges, even in dense electronic warfare environments. The sensors also fed data to a helmet-mounted display, HMD, that projected information directly onto the pilot's visor. The upgraded F-22 also had a formidable arsenal of weapons. It could carry up to eight air-to-air -air missiles inside its internal bays, including four AIM-120D AMRAMs and four AIM-9X Sidewinders. It could also carry two AIM-260 JATMs, which were next-generation missiles that had longer range and greater maneuverability than the AMRAMs. The upgraded F-22 could also carry up to two AGM-183A ARWs, which were hypersonic weapons that could travel at speeds above Mach 5 and strike targets with precision and accuracy. The upgraded F-22 also had enhanced communications capabilities. It could link up with other platforms through a secure data link called MADL-LEASE Multifunction Advanced Data Link, 
which allowed it to share information and coordinate attacks with other fighters like the F-35 or the Ares prototype. It could also communicate with satellites through a system called BACN, Battlefield Airborne Communications Node, which gave it access to global positioning and navigation. The upgraded F-22 was a formidable machine that could dominate any airspace. It was faster, stealthier, smarter, and more lethal than any other fighter jet in the world. It was the ultimate expression of the Ares program, which aimed to create a network of systems that could work together to achieve air superiority. The upgraded F-22 was not just a fighter jet, it was a weapon of the future. But don't take our word for it. See for yourself how the upgraded F-22 performs in action. In this video, we're going to show you an exclusive cockpit view of the F-22 Raptor Demo's first ever flare show, performed by Captain Samuel Raz Larson over the beaches of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The flare show is a spectacular display of the Raptor's agility and power, as well as its defensive capabilities. Flares are devices that are ejected from aircraft to decoy heat-seeking missiles. They create bright infrared signatures that confuse and divert the missiles away from the aircraft. The F-22 can carry up to 60 flares in its internal bays and can release them in different patterns and sequences. The flare show begins with a max vertical climb where the Raptor accelerates to supersonic speed and then pulls up sharply into a near vertical ascent. The Raptor can reach altitudes of over 50,000 feet in seconds, thanks to its two powerful Pratt and Whitney F, 119 engines that produce 35,000 pounds of thrust each. As the Raptor climbs, it releases a burst of flares that create a dazzling trail behind it. Next, the Raptor performs a Cobra maneuver, where it pitches up to 90 degrees and then falls back down while maintaining its forward direction. This maneuver demonstrates the Raptor's exceptional thrust-to-weight ratio and angle of attack control. The Raptor can achieve angles of attack of over 60 degrees which means it can point its nose at targets that are not in front of it. As the Raptor falls back down, it releases another burst of flares that create a stunning contrast with the blue sky. Then, the Raptor performs a pedal turn, where it rotates around its vertical axis while flying horizontally. This maneuver shows the Raptor's ability to change direction quickly and unpredictably, making it hard to track and target with enemy radar and missiles. The Raptor can achieve this maneuver thanks to its thrust vectoring nozzles, which can direct the engine thrust in different directions. As the Raptor spins, it releases more flares that create a spiral effect around it. Next, the Raptor performs a power loop, where it flies in a vertical circle while maintaining a constant speed. This maneuver demonstrates the Raptor's high energy and low drag characteristics, which allow it to fly faster and longer than any other fighter jet. The Raptor can fly at speeds of over Mach 2.2 and has a combat radius of over 800 miles. As the Raptor completes the loop, it releases more flares that create a circular pattern behind it. Finally, the Raptor performs a tail slide where it flies backwards for a short distance before recovering. This maneuver shows the Raptor's ability to fly at very low speeds and high angles of attack without stalling or losing control. The Raptor can fly at speeds as low as 60 knots and has a fly-by-wire system that automatically adjusts the flight controls to maintain stability. As the Raptor slides backwards, it releases more flares that create a fan-like shape behind it. The flare show ends with thunderous applause from the crowd, who are amazed by the Raptor's performance and beauty. The flare show is not only a spectacular display of the Raptor's capabilities, but also a reminder of its role as a deterrent and protector of freedom. The upgraded F-22 Raptor is the ultimate fighter jet that can dominate any airspace and shock any enemy. But what is the difference between 5th and 6th generation fighters? That's a good question. 5th and 6th generation fighters are both advanced types of jet fighters that have superior capabilities compared to previous generations. However, there are some key differences between them that make the 6th generation fighters more advanced and futuristic. According to various sources, some of the main differences between 5th and 6th generation fighters are Stealth Stealth is the ability to evade or reduce detection by enemy radars and sensors. 5th generation fighters such as the F-22 and the F-35 
have stealth features that make them hard to spot but not invisible. They still have some radar cross-section and infrared signatures that can be detected by advanced radars and sensors. Sixth generation fighters, on the other hand, aim to achieve true invisibility by using new materials, coatings, shapes, and technologies that can absorb, deflect, or cancel out radar waves and infrared emissions. They may also use active camouflage or cloaking devices that can change color or texture to blend in with the environment. Speed. Speed is the ability to fly fast and reach targets quickly. Fifth generation fighters can fly at supersonic speeds, which means faster than the speed of sound. Mach 1. Some of them, such as the F-22, can also fly at supercruise speeds, which means faster than Mach 1, without using afterburners. Sixth generation fighters aim to fly at hypersonic speeds, which means faster than Mach 5. They may use scramjet engines or rocket boosters that can propel them to extreme velocities. They may also use advanced aerodynamics and materials that can withstand high temperatures and pressures. Sensors. Sensors are the devices that collect and process information about the surroundings and the enemy. Fifth generation fighters have advanced sensors that can detect and track targets at long ranges even in dense electronic warfare environments. They also have sensor fusion capabilities that can combine data from different sensors and sources to create a comprehensive picture of the situation. Sixth generation fighters aim to have even more advanced sensors that can collect and process more information faster and more accurately. They may use quantum sensors or artificial intelligence that can enhance their perception and cognition. They may also use biometric sensors or neural interfaces that can connect with the pilot's brain and body. Weapons Weapons are devices that deliver lethal or non-lethal effects on the enemy. Fifth generation fighters have advanced weapons that can engage targets at long ranges with high precision and accuracy. They also have internal weapons bays that can carry stealthy or smart weapons that can evade or adapt to enemy defenses. Sixth generation fighters aim to have even more advanced weapons that can engage targets at longer ranges with higher speed and agility. They may use directed energy weapons or cyber weapons that can deliver electromagnetic or digital effects on the enemy. They may also use swarm weapons or autonomous weapons that can cooperate or operate independently. Network. A network is the ability to communicate and coordinate with other friendly platforms and assets. Fifth generation fighters have advanced communications capabilities that can link up with other platforms through secure data links, such as MADIEL, Multifunction Advanced Data Link. They can also communicate with satellites through systems such as BCN, Battlefield Airborne Communications Node. Sixth generation fighters aim to have even more advanced communications capabilities that can link up with other platforms through quantum communications or optical communications that are faster, more secure, and more resilient. They may also communicate with space assets through systems such as SDA, Space Development Agency, or LEO, Low Earth Orbit Satellites. These are some of the main differences between fifth and sixth generation fighters. Of course, these differences are not definitive or exclusive, as there may be some overlap or variation among different models and countries. Moreover, sixth generation fighters are still in the development or conceptual stages, so their actual features and capabilities may change or differ from what is currently envisioned. However, based on these differences, it is clear that sixth generation fighters are expected to be more stealthy, faster, smarter, and more lethal than fifth generation fighters. They are also expected to be more networked, more autonomous, and more adaptable than fifth generation fighters. They are designed to cope with the evolving threats and challenges of the future warfare environment. What do you think of these differences? Do you think sixth generation fighters will be worth the cost and effort? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you enjoy this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. See you next time!